Your greetings and salutation, guys and gals, people and pals. It's the gentleman Sarah Turtle, and we're back at it again on our free to play account. This should be, if I'm not mistaken, episode three. And <clears throat> we're still dealing with the same thing before reset. So I'm just making sure I. Oh man, my login is super late. That's gonna be, that's a problem. I should have done that earlier. Uh, we're gonna. I'm making sure that I, you know, do everything, collect all the stuff that I need to collect. So that's what you're gonna be seeing. Uh, again, <clears throat> uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. You know, leave me information that you think is valuable, tips, tricks, teams that you want me to use you know units that you want me to try out remember always be please 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 be considerate of the units that I have that's all I ask <clears throat> oh boy my throat is killing me today so if I sound scratchy and stuff I apologize How many more friends do I need? Quick collect. That's this. So, I want to talk, I want to continue to talk about, uh, the fire potential, because I'm personally looking forward towards fire again, as I will keep preaching, <clears throat> because, uh, speculation, again, super important word, speculation is, uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Senor Akuma or oh well that said that kind of weird but Akuma is supposedly possibly a fire unit now what that means is oh my god I'm freaking out oh my god 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 because if that is true the amplification that fire as a whole gets because that man is supposed to be the best dps in the game or one of the better i i can't it's so hard to say the worst best because then that leaves them to be number one and there's there's no number one in my eyes in this game because there's a lot of people that do a lot of stuff uh it, unless we knew we we don't have a definitive way to numerically know that 
who is good at doing what and why and how um uh, we we are requesting in the game feedback um for a test dummy of some way where we can you know test teams and equipment and you know see the damages afterwards and that feedback uh that feedback is that feedback's pretty nutty in, in the turn in the way not not in like in that is bad it, it's nutty in the sense that who boy a lot of people agree and no one disagrees look at this folks take a quick read if you can training dummy in the dojo yeah you don't you see a little bit of secret stuff but actually this might be bled out this might be bled out so uh the training dummy in the dojo i think it would be nice to have a way to test build and units to get hard numbers since the stages of story mode are not repeatable and the bosses you face via guild and other modes have limits to them i feel it would be nice to have a training dummy that allows up that allows us to see what our units are doing and we can test combos unit builds team setups it's on a timer and at the end it will give a short breakdown of overall damage at and what each unit did i already upvoted it it has 40 47 upvotes you know no th this is auto because the bot immediately gives one up and one down so this is not like an actual person downvoting this is not counted the first two votes so technically this has 39 it says 37 but my oh, 39 this says 37 because i count as one of the 39 but yeah like this for theory crafters is much wanted much much wanted and needed so please join the discord if you're not already if you are upvoted for the love of god please put all the upvotes so that way the higher the number the more the devs can be like yeah this needs to be definitely added into the game it really doesn't take much and it doesn't take away from the game itself you know you can put it in the guild literally training you literally have a button that says training put it in the dojo put it somewhere right here look, look at how much space you have here put a little dummy let us click wham bam thank you ma'am you testing your stuff that you want to test out that's amazing all right so oh also uh something that i wasn't aware and again this is why we're we're doing this we're doing free to play so we can learn we're doing this together so we can learn together and better ourselves in our main accounts so i've been using these off the rip so from my understanding you want to use them at the very last uh, i i was just using them to break down the walls and barriers and apparently that's wrong there's that inefficient it's very inefficient and what i mean by, what i mean by that is you want to gather them all to the point until you hit a barrier when once you hit an actual wall that you can't do anything like you keep playing over and over and over and you keep getting dumpstered that's the moment and also you have to meet certain criteria I, I wasn't aware of this and you know i how do i put this i'm experienced in gacha games but i'm not the best at them like you know i try to be the, the, as competitive as possible and i'm always willing to learn and i think if everyone should take that approach if you're always willing to learn you're always going to be better and you're always going to be the best version of yourself whenever you you know you do stuff so i'm trying to learn and i i i learned that you wait at as much as you can and then you do all the stuff that you can you do all the supreme fish you do all the bounties you do the shadow blue cities you do when this is open the operations you do everything that's possible and when uh, you hit that moment where you feel like man i can't do jack squat that's the moment when you do when you use those items that's the moment you decide okay i mean don't use all of them don't use all of them 
that's one thing I want to I want you to understand. Like we're in the consideration of efficiency. You're supposed to use enough that it'll get you over the hurdle. Now, how do you determine that? Normally, um, when you're at a wall, you have to determine the factors of why am I getting wrecked? Are my people dying too fast? Then it's a gear check. It, it is. It, well, excuse me. If your people are dying too fast, it's a health and tank check you know your tank is either not doing his job or everyone's too low health wise that they can't survive the damage uh if you're surviving damage but you're not doing enough and you're timing out then obviously you know you're not doing enough damage and then if you're still you're like i can almost barely just do it like you're, you're like I feel like I just need a little bit more. I can su I can survive enough to do enough damage, but I'm not there yet. Then it might be an uh, an equipment check. You know, it might just be an idle wait, and you just gotta slowly you know do a little power creeping afterwards. Like those are the the four checkpoints. You got tank health. I I, I consider that as one barrier. Tank health check. Uh, then you have uh dps check and then you have equipment check and then you have overall you know power check you it, think about it as like in almost in like in mmos and, and raids and stuff like that you know you got bosses that do certain things these these uh even numbers these 10 40s these 10 uh these these 10 the 40 the 2040s 80s are the walls they're they're, they're the the checks for this game and you got to take into consideration and remember this is an idle game this is not meant for you to be uh like sitting hours on end on your phone just playing this game that it's not designed that way although you can you know more power to you because i do it i'm not gonna the front i do it um but when you're like Oh my god, this game is not pay to win because I'm stuck at uh, 1040. You gotta understand, this is just the first week, and casuals are probably not even in four. Like, right now, I'm taking this account, like, I'm making sure I play, I'm play. i playing this account every day. And this is technically the second day of the account. And I'm technically still on the second day. It's just uh, now later on in the day where I'm recording this. And I'm going by slow. And I just, I'm what, this is 3.15 or something like that? On day one, I was already in like 7 something. So you, it's a very large difference. It's a very large difference. It, 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 it's big. So, you know, you got to take that into consideration. Maybe you need to take a break and stop breaking the game. <laughs> you know, we're all doing it. We're all guilty of it. That's certainly a thing. So I got sidetracked. I know. I just realized. I was, what I was thinking. I was like, what was I talking about? Fire team. So right now we got Dudley. We have Sea Viper. Um, some people were mentioning, and I was talking to some people, you know, Fei Long. Because apparently, if I, I have to be his kit to confirm again, because I must have overlooked it that he has a stun somewhere. Um, but I know his passive works when you have fire fire units and then he he loses a, I don't know if he loses the entire passive or a stack but he loses a part of his passive when a non-fire unit does something so 
it's not too hot it's not too hot uh, because then it it really prevents you from like let's say having Elena as a support if you have Fei Long that it's it, it won't work I mean uh, all right it, is it enough that it's such a detriment maybe not uh, maybe Fei Long is still good that the buff is that good uh, but what it's starting to feel like maybe I should start doing this uh, <clears throat> what it's starting to feel like is uh, as I play C Viper more and as I've been reading her and then seeing her in uh, just in general facing against her in story mode and such oh I just got destroyed yep um she's pretty nutty you know like her back row access her damage is it's there like whoo thank you for surviving down um and then her AOE, her spread of fire. And then here's what I'm also taking into consideration. Again, yes, I'm a Ken fanboy. But here, let, hear me out. Okay? I know you're going to be like, damn, said Turtle again with this guy? Like, come on, get over it. He's useless. Hear me out. All right? these EXs I believe you can place them in the order that you want them to activate or they place themselves I have I have, I have no clue I haven't I don't have a third to really well actually I have I don't even have a second to test this out I will have to go in my other account now that I'm thinking about it but I'll figure it out but if if the EXs can be set where who which one you want to activate first we're getting the Ken EX today, tonight, the reset. And that puts a burn immediately. Not immediately, but when it's activated, it puts a burn on everybody. Burn with Dawson. Burn with C Viper. And then have Ken with his crit. And then you remember Dalsum crits on fire and then he also get if you open with Dalsum you have um what's it called you have a buff to his carpet fire which is the burn that he leaves on the floor or you also have act the, the ability to open with uh sea viper because as you look you know look the, the access that the sea viper has to backline instant backline the, the difference with her uh, and Dalsum is look at that she, hers is tar targeted back row versus uh Dalsum is general aoe where he just yeets a fireball and wherever it lands is what's gonna you know who's gonna get hit so that's what you have to take into consideration and I think obviously, you know, it, you're, if you're being active in manual or semi semi auto, you you're gonna swap between them in the combos. That's what that's what I'm I'm think. If that's if you have them both on the team, because I would say Ken shouldn't be the main three. He would be a support. So that way you open with either Dalsim or C Viper. Go with Ken as your second com with your no one combo. So I so it will it it'll, it goes super one combo two three so super with C Viper one combo with Ken and then I think you can either do two with C Viper if I'm not mistaken and then three with Dalsum or you can huh. Yeah, actually, that's, I'm curious as to what the other combo arrangement would there be. Because now that I think about it, because if you open with it, let's, 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 check, let's see real quick. Hold on. I'm just, just curious. Um, 
She has, so she has a two and a three. So if you open with C Viper, you go with uh, a one with Ken, you can do a two with her again, and then you'll end with Dawson. Because her two is AoE. That does a lot of damage. Because of this, de detonation. Cause flame damage equal to 30% of attack and removes all burn debuffs. Each stack of burn raises damage by 100%. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this, let's just take the skill in alone. Okay? So, you, you, you EX, you have 10 EX that does one burn. And then, so we have to take into consideration we're trying to go for two. We're trying to go for her two combo because her super is, doesn't have detonation. Even though this is still good. Like, we're, 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 taking, it, we're taking into consideration detonation first. Right? So you have Ken EX. You have Dalsum Super. One one ken right here shorty repa because of this part this skill does additional 10 percent crit against burn increase damage to this skill and crit rate against target with burn okay so it, the the target should have to burn by the time Ken goes off, raising his damage in your crit, right? And then you Viper with her two. At that moment, she'll have she should have two uh, burn to remove. So that's your two hundred percent. Should be. It says each stack of burn raises damage by a hundred. So three hundred. So it's five hundred eight percent. If I'm, I, if I'm understanding this right. If I'm wrong, please explain to me. Show me, hey, no, this is where that because my I'm bad with math. I'm not gonna be pretending I'm like, hey, I'm good with math. I'm, I'm, this is where I like, help me, type of situation, you know. So, let me know if I'm wrong. But yeah, thirty percent of attack and removes cause flame damage, raises damage. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong. I am wrong. Hold on. Because I'm reading I'm adding this when I'm not supposed to. Hold on. Cause this is its own thing. And then this is added, right? Increase damage 308 over time. There's 50% chance to inflict damage. Yeah, okay, yeah, I am wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Detonation caused flame damage equal to yeah okay thirty percent of attack and removes all burn defense. each stack of burn raises damage so I'm assuming yeah sorry my child is running in the background so I'm assuming. If I'm reading this correct uh, and I did my math wrong, which I understand now, take this away and we're focusing on this. It starts at 30% and then it goes up to 100 per stack, which would be a total of 230% on top of the 308%. Is that how it works? So you do this map and then you add it to this. So then 
I don't have them yet. Like, come on now. Alright, you have a super here. Increase fire carpet damage 30%. Increase duration for 6. Flame damage equal to all to all targets. Flame damage. Further flame damage equal to 230% to multiple enemies within the fire range. Also creates a fire carpet within which that deals dam flame damage equal to 15% of attack to all enemies within range for every 2 seconds for 4 seconds. And then that goes up to 30%. Do you understand how insane this man is? And then this part here. Yoga Flame splits flame in front of strikes multiple targets large area six times dealing flame damage equal to 40, 460% of the attack to each target. Each strike has 15 base chance to inflict burn. So you have 16 times. Whoa, wow. My, like I said, I'm bad at math, don't mind me. You have six chances to inflict burn with just this one ability. Each strike has a 25% chance. I mean, obviously you're gambling, you're probably gonna get what? Two, maybe? Three if you're hitting lucky? One if you really shitty luck? <clears throat> but the damage base is 510%. Six times damage equal to 510% at level 3. And it can inflict burn. Like, do you understand what this man can achieve? So, yeah. That's my ramblings of a potential fire team. Uh, I want F Blanca. Now here's the the thing: F Blanca does not, if I'm correct, contribute to faction. Which, like I've stated before, sometimes faction can be a trap. So I don't care. Like I like using F Sako, so I don't. I I'm, I'm perfectly fine with using Blanca. Because if we're gonna add him to the equation. Then there's more fire damage than I can think of because he does he combos with fire damage and his super is fire damage I think and then he adds like his own form of detonation which is called wire fire so him with C Viper with their extra quote unquote damage I think is going to be I like to use this word nutty but you have so many terms that you can use nutty bonkers broken op but like you know some people i i noticed some people allow the word nutty because it's like the it, uh, it hits home on the right note because if you use op everybody's gonna be like oh well it's not that op you know so nutty you know we'll, we'll use it at that and then you you know what you could quote me on it put it on my shirt put it uh -huh, put a uh Put a, a turtle with a bag of peanuts and just be like, damn, that's nutty. Oh, that's just so bad. I couldn't see it already. I shouldn't have said that. Whatever.
Let's go. Now the real fun begins. No whammies. Oh, hey, let's go. Okay. All right. I ain't mad at this right here, and I'm not mad at this. All right. I'm not mad at that. Let's go. I hate this thing. I'm going to spend them. Don't do that, but it bothers my OC. I know I'm supposed to say it to 10, whatever. All right. Let's go.
Okay, that's alright.
Okay, that was funny. You have to admit it. Just that was a little bit funny. Boy, I got rickety wrecked. Alright, one thing I, now I gotta do is this.
All right, so I'm thinking of using this one. Might not be enough. Cause I want to make sure I get the, the the seven day growth thing before I lose out. change So close. Why didn't he combo three off the rip? Not again. Wait, why is the combo three not working? What? Am I missing something? What am I? I didn't go to combo two. Oh, I didn't set it, did I? I'm confused. Try this out. Sometimes it's the littlest things. There you go. See? Just change up the combo. up because I guess so every time you you gain those oh okay Now we're safe.
Wait, let's go. Combat Guile. He's pretty good. I wanted to play him. I have him in my other one, but I don't really play him too much. Man, the team's starting to look a little spicy. Alright folks, this one went a little bit longer. I hope you chilled. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you vibed. I'll be back at it again. Server reset. Stay beautiful. Stay happy. Stay alive. I love you folks. Chatella out.